Wow, this is beautiful this morning. Hello friends. Today is a very important day. Today I am on my way to school. This is my first school day in Germany and I'm super excited. Now that my um, two little girls go to kindergarten every morning, I've decided to use my mornings to go back to school and do an Ausbildung to learn to work with little kids. Because I did that for a while in Munich and I really enjoyed it. The kids were like between zero to like a few months old. Probably about, the youngest one we probably had was about seven months to about three, four years old. That is what I am doing right now. I'm on my way to school, but just in the mornings, not in the afternoons, thank goodness. I've still got to look after my kiddie winkles in the afternoons. I'm mega, mega excited, excited to see who's gonna be on my course. Excited to see who my teachers are going to be. Teachers are important, aren't they, in, in school? I'm probably going to be twice the age of most of the other people in my class, but I do not care. I'm young at heart, dressed in all black every day and piercings on my face. And I remember those days. They were good times. Do you think I can get away with being 20? I don't know. Probably not. I'm 34. I don't think I can get away with being 20. I'm just, I'm going to tell them the truth that I'm like mega old with two kids and hope that they don't all laugh at me. It's going to be fun. Anyway, I'm going to go there and back for the next, I don't know, month, few weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying I don't know a lot, don't I? I don't know a lot of things this morning. Yeah, I've decided to go there and back on my bikey the first few weeks because the train lines are all crazy and we've got all right weather haven't we might as well Whee! while we've been living in germany i have actually really really missed going to work every day on a motorbike that's what i used to do in england for years go to work every day on the motorbike it would be the morning routine you know every morning you're on your bike every afternoon after work you're on your bike and i've super missed that so for the next couple of weeks i am super pleased super duper pleased that I'm going to get to be on the bikey out and about every morning, every afternoon, as long as my kids don't get sick. Please don't get sick, kids. Anyway, I think I'm going to um, sign off here and turn it back on again when I come back from school. Bye. Oh, I've got the heat grips. I forgot. How can I forget that? Oh, they're just warming up now. Isn't this beautiful? Like, not the train line, but all of the misty everywhere and the hills. This town here, Karlstadt, is actually really pretty, but it's got this massive fat cement works that looks super ugly right to the side of it. And you can see it like almost everywhere from the town. It's just yuck. Yuck. You look horrible. Cement works made out of cement. You're not advertising your product very well. First day of school, first day of school. Uh -huh. Almost there. Where do I park and stuff? I don't know. Whoa. Well, that's my first day done. That wasn't um, too much information in the first day. There was lots of paperwork, of course. Living in Germany, they like paperwork, don't they? Got you think you've done all the paperwork to to get on the course and then they give you more when you start the course and you're like oh thanks guys but yeah it seems like I have some very nice people on my course and they've got Fahrschule in front of me they're learning L lots of the um, people on my course about maybe a third of them were under 18 but there was also like um, how many people were older than me two so I'm not the oldest yeah I'm definitely not the youngest I am twice the age of the youngest person. The youngest person I think was 17 and I am 34 more than I'm more than twice their age. I am twice their age. Literally twice their age. I'm bad at maths at the moment. When you have kids you're you're constantly concentrating on your kids. You're not doing maths, are you? And then your brain it's like when you learn a language and then you're just not doing it anymore. And your brain is like we don't need this information. 
It is useless. Get out of my head. And then after a while, you're like, hang, hang on, I do need that. Hang on. Don't chuck that out yet. Oh, I keep forgetting where the clip is to open this visor. Oh, this is a new helmet, by the way. I'll put pictures of it now. My new helmet. Because, long story, that I can make sure I will. The showy was very loud, my NXR. It was super loud and it was also, it had lots of wind like going around my eyes all the time that made my eyes water and um, yeah, that wasn't very nice. So I went to um, a shop, a motorbike helmet shop and I tried out three helmets, no, two, three. I can't remember how many I tried, but I tried this one uh, and it was excellent, much quieter, fitted me really well which is the most important thing. And now it is my helmet. So there you go. Oh, yeah, first first day at school and um, didn't actually learn anything, do you? Just You just learn what people's names are on your course. Like, what's your name, what's your name? I am terrible at names. And they played an excellent game today for getting to know names where we all sat in a circle and each person had to say their name and one of their hobbies and do like an action to do with their hobby at the same time and goodness me that really helped i know about three names now instead of none so that that really helped me out of how many people on my course where am i going please sat nav straight on hmm. am i in the wrong lane now yes move over still getting to know how to ride around Würzburg. it is still a little bit confusing getting there as long as I know how to get to my school and get out again, then that's, that's fine for me. Yeah, as long as I work out the bits I need to know, then everything else can just come second, can't I? I don't really need to know my way around Würzburg that much. I'm going to have a look in the mirror. Look. No, you're looking far too low down, this camera. It's the trouble when you get a new helmet and you have to sort out where the camera goes. And I think you're looking too far down. I can't do anything about that right now. I do need to get some petrol, but I think I'll get some petrol up near where I live. Because I like going to petrol stations that I know. Are other people like that too, or is that just me? Like you always like, I like this petrol station, so I'm just going to go here. And then you just go there forever. And you're like, nope, that's my petrol station. Just like when you go to a toilet, and then that's like your toilet then. Like that, that cubicle, that one there, that's mine. Unless someone else is in it, and you're like, oh, bugger. How thoughtless of you to go in my cubicle random person who didn't know. Right, what's the time now? 12.30. It's taken me a while to get dressed and out of my school. But I knew it would, that's fine. Again, well that's one of the things with travelling with a motorbike is you can't just like get in it and go. You've got to get all the gumph on first. Get changed. It's funny, isn't it? When I finished doing my stuff where I used to work in a hospital, when I finished doing my training for that, I thought, right, that's it now. No more school for me ever again. Whoopee, no more exams, woo! And um, actually, I think that's quite boring. <laughs> Not having any more exams ever in your whole life. Like, learning all the time. It's one of the best things in life, isn't it? There we go, right, I've changed the angle a bit. We'll see if this is better. Oh my goodness, it's so hot middle of September bloody 31 degrees okay turn this thing my battery is not good need a new battery soon did you know that in Germany at the moment you can get a ticket a train ticket for the month for I think it's like fifth no 49 euros and you can travel throughout Germany for that month as long as it's not on the really fast trains. Amazing. But you have to like have a, what's it called? It's like a subscription service. So you have to subscribe to this to do this every month. So if you're a foreigner coming over, unfortunately, I don't think it would really work because you'd have to get one and then cancel your subscription like straight away. Otherwise it would do like two months or three months or something annoying so like my mum's gonna come over in when is it December and it would have been good for her to have this Deutschland ticket it's called but she can't have it can she because she doesn't live here and she can't subscribe to it and have it like every month she can have some other ticket I guess 
I don't know which one yet, but I'll look into it. Oh yeah, and I got a like a piece of paper put on my bike from my school saying that I can't park where I parked and now I've got to look up on the internet where I should park next time and if I can't find anything on the school website then I'll phone someone and be like where can motorbikes park please oh my god I'm boiling hot right now ah I've still got until like 2 30 to pick up my kitty winkles <sighs> anyway I'm gonna say goodbye now at this traffic light goodbye Go out on your motorbike, enjoy the weather while it's still good, everybody. Because next week is going to be rubbish, apparently. Bye!